Hello and welcome back. We are just about to check out the burial sites. While wandering the Deadfire countryside, you stumble upon a site used frequently for ritual cremations. Beside the flat expanse of earth where a pyre might have been, sits a small crypt full of beautiful baskets containing cremated remains. Ah, <sighs> okay. Search the location. You take some time to search the burial site, two hours passed, and find a yellow scroll. You've gained an, an item, scroll of minor healing. The item was put into your stash. Keep searching. You continue poking around the burial site for anything useful. And find a charming trinket, wrapped in dried grasses. The item was put into your stash. Can I keep searching? Find the yellow scroll. Keep searching again. I found some new shells. There's nothing left. We looted the whole thing. Hopefully, they will not find that 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 it was me. Like, hey, it could be anybody, right? Upoho Varu Woods. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. Thick woodlands spread to the east of Port Maya, slowing your travel. Birds flitter above you and insects drone incessantly. The path eventually gives way to a game trail, then to no path at all. You find a curiously marked tree, the bark gouged away in a pattern. The striations seem to run upward from right to left, just shy of vertical. Yeah, I'm really good at that. Examine the markings. Uh, well, how about Adair? Adair examines the gashes in the wood, then plucks a tuft of hair from the side of the tree. A wild boar did this. Really? Adair taps the tree. Look at this. Sigil has been slightly carved into the wood, so faint as to be almost imperceptible. Continue cautiously. You press carefully into the forest, your clothes damp with the humidity and the water dripping from your from trees above. A quiet rustling in the underbrush draws your attention northward, deeper into the forest. Hide in the undergrowth? I guess we're just gonna play it safe. You duck down in the undergrowth, only to not lose a log that had been leaned against a tree. You watch helplessly as it falls over, dragging behind it a vine wrapped around a dead branch. The dead foliage crashes loudly to the ground. The sound approaches, and a tall Omana appears uh, through the vegetation. Matted red hair frames his head, while boar hides drape his form. Stranger still, several wild boars attend him. Their hackles up as they snort at you. What? Hey, a uh, boar whisperer, what the hell? Adair perks up at the sight of the boars, alternatively imitating their grunts and chuckling. This is not the time. Only at length in what appears to be a hill dragging off the tot, does his attention at last turn to the strange man in their midst. Dirt darkens the folds of the man's skin, his lips curl over jagged teeth. He waves the stick at you. No, never talk. Just go. Leave this forest. Go leave these islands. Go return from where you've been. His Adarian is halting, the language thick in his mouth. I came here looking for you? What is that? Bluff. The people on the coast said you could help me? <laughs> they never ask of me. They always know better, they think, than me in this wood. He shakes his head, 
Xoti? What is that? Skullduggery? Xoti flicks her sickle back and forth, agitated. No, I never believe your foreign lies. Well, it was... I don't know. I mean, you know harm. Can we just talk? Said as if a word never hurts a person. I know it. They can cut your soul. You go. Speak quickly, then. Your words disturb this place. What are you doing with the boars? Learning. The boar teach much about survival if one listens, if one watches. So sing. So say those who know. Those you know? Who would that be? This question helps neither of us, I say. Is he thinking of... If he's speaking of Galavain, god, goddess, uh, god of the hunt? Always you foreign sort speak of your changing god. I say you know nothing of change, and less of the hunt. So about the, those boars of yours, um, could any of them volunteer to be like uh, breakfast? What of them then? Could I get some pork, please? <laughs> I like a boar of my own. Don't suppose you've got one to spare. <laughs> Don't be so direct. Don't just ask for pork. They are not mine to give, nor yours to take. You want a boar, friend. You go make your own. <laughs> Why do these boars matter so much to you? Then I need a reason. I say I do not. That is plenty reason. Okay. Look, I just want to pass through the forest. No, your sort always want. This forest is not yours. This land is not yours. Go, leave. Insight. I'm hunting a god. If I fail, the islands will not be spared his wrath. I'm not here to take from these lands. I'm here to protect them. Exactly. The man frowns, then pulls a leather-wrapped uh, pouch from within his belongings. Hand shaking, he hands it to you. You gained an item. Vice teeth necklace. Okay. The item was put into your stash. Then go, take this. They protect you if you speak true. They tear out your throat if no. Big gamble. I think I'm just gonna sell it. He dismisses you with a wave. That's an intelligence necklace. Can I just use it? I guess you're gonna use that. Cloak of protection. Yeah, I want to be sure Batman too. Like ah, hey, old druid. <clears throat> Look at that. What a peaceful and friendly exchange. Anything else you got hidden in here? Seems like nothing to me. I'm going. Old Belground? Oh, I can't even talk to the druid anymore. Oh, just going to Old Belground. The sight of a recent battle spreads before you. The bodies of the routed forest still lie where they fell, though most have been picked clean by scavenging beasts. Let's search the location. Two hours passed. And find some armor that's still in remarkably good condition. Okay. Keep searching. Nothing. I gained a lot of Azata shells. Keep searching. Nothing. There's nothing left. Shells is all, all they had. Bit of a bummer. Hmm. Solitary rice farm. Okay. Wakura Pass. Yeah, I need to pass through that. 
Ilario's Rest, Port Maya. We also got some ship merchants, but I can't interact with them. The trail before you seems uh, thoroughly disturbed by erratic tracks. The sparse plants to the immediate sides of the path roughly mangled. A struggle may have occurred here. Search the area. Uh, I guess... You're gonna do it. Scatter makes sense of the chaos within moments. No blood spatter suggests it was not a fight, and your compatriots easily identifies the clawed prints of Xau rips. The tracks seem recent. A dry and ropey vine has been pulled taut across the path and inexpertly covered in dirt. Beyond a group of rope figures cringe and cover at a, a nearby river's bend. Each is frozen in place, ashen and grey, like statues crafted of suit. What's this on the trap? Though the trap seems simple, you take care as you disarm it and collect its component parts. You have gained an item, corrosive cloud trap, the item was put into your stash. Cautiously, uh, keep going. You continue down the path without further interference. That's it. Anything at the bottom? Ale. How did we find Ale there? In Witten Dick site? Shipwreck. You find an abandoned doe half buried in the sand. Wind whistles through gaping holes in the ho in its hole, making the sun bleached wood creak and moan. An open cargo crate slides scattered around the wreckage. Let's search. I found Paul's stone. Search again. Juana colors. Wow, that's interesting. Repair supply. More repair supply. More repair supply. And that's it. Nothing is. Is. Uh. Time. Uh. Uh. A concern here? Should I just keep pressing? Next. Every time? I don't know. I don't know if time is a concern. It doesn't seem like it's a major concern right now. And we need to get ready. <laughs> Getting Reaper supplies seems like a really good deal. At this point. I don't think the game is time sensitive. Maybe some missions are time sensitive, but I very much doubt that the main mission is time sensitive, so... I'm just gonna go with that assumption. Till I'm uh, proven... It well, till me. it's proven yeah, otherwise. Watch your weight. Sorry, bends double, hands uh, resting briefly on her knees before she wipes sweat from her brow. Huffing to catch her breath, she glances up to you with a bright smile. You've gained an item, Golden Soul. The item was, yeah. If you'll spare me a minute, I'd like to perform a last rite for these poorly departed souls. She reaches for the lantern on her hip. Please, Watcher. Without my guidance, they might have a hard time finding the light. There are no departed souls here. Yeah, we're gonna go with the approach. Because if we are tippy-toeing around you, that means your presence in this party is... Uh, you know, we, we don't plan to have you along for the long term, I suppose. But... That's not what I want. I'm gonna tell you what it is. There, there are no departed souls here. What do you mean? Just look at all these corpses. Uh, these people had their souls sucked out by Yotas. Their corpses are just empty husks. That why they're so ashy? <laughs> yeah, her nose crinkles. Exactly. Eotas caused the Biavak when he passed through. So it's not just symbolism in my dreams. 
I saw my God walking through storms. Didn't know he created them. While I do thank you for shielding my pride, Watcher, I figure it's better to be safe than sorry. So if you don't mind, I'll just do a calling real quick. It's pointless. We don't have time for this. I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Piss you off, I suppose, but it's pointless. This... She sweeps a hand to indicate the area, a severe frown, crooking her lips. ...is why I came here. I serve my duty to my god because I answer to gone. You can't reap any souls here. They are trapped inside the Yotas. Trapped? Like a rabbit in a snare? I just want you to understand that you are doing nothing here. So, if, if after understanding that you still want to waste your time on this, I mean like, I suppose. You just need to understand that she taps three stars across her brow, sign of her fear. Sakes alive, but that doesn't make any sense. Why would gone, an aspect of the god of rebirth, keep souls from the cycle? <laughs> Place a hand on her shoulder, I'm sorry, but it's true. Now, I, I prefer a good explanation. Eotas has possessed an Aedra statue, but he needs soul essence for the energy to move. Her grip turns white-knuckled white -knuckled on her sickle and lantern. Shaking a sharp refusal, she glances around the areas, if desperately willing herself to see the souls that remain, but you know that's impossible. I don't see how that can be right, but I suppose we'll find out soon enough. If there's no souls here, well... She bites at her bottom lip. It's best we get a move on then. She takes a few steps, but then stops short, head shaking. But to be safe... I ought to give the lantern a real fast whirl. This here's a final call for all <laughs> souls. Last stop for the lost. Gather round now, I'll cut you loose and haul you into the light. Swinging the lantern faster and faster, Sodi plants her tights uh, wide and her trust armed, and, and then trusts her arms up high over her head. The lantern rattles in her grip, and the light from within flares blindingly bright. In the silence of your held breath, it almost seems like a soul should sift up from within one of the corpses, quivering in the air before siphoning into the lantern's fading brilliance. But the ashes, the ashen bodies are bereft of souls, so in the end, so this light, the light fades without acquiring anything. <sighs> no good. I had to try. Her triumphant smile ebbs from her face, leaving her expression as drab as the mud smudged on her cre cheek. It's my honor duty to reap and shepherd departed souls during their journey to being reborn. With Aethis dead, me and the other reapers gotta gather as many souls as we can. We'll keep them safe until Gon returns to hell and can take them into his divine embrace. Rub the dirt from uh, rub rub the dirt from her cheek. Okay. A blush spreads hot beneath your thumb, and so they glance away, no longer able to meet your gaze. But her lips curve into a pleased smile. I'm keeping lost souls, and here. She taps the metal frame of the lantern. And that's all I care to say for now. Let's go. She nods before setting off. Ratiti root. Okay. River Reed. I'm not sure this is gonna matter too much, but hey, we gotta pick it up. If you can pick it up, we'll pick it up. Ancient training hall? Hmm. Sure, can't do it. 
Go what? Deserted cat? Gosha? What? Combat a woo. Oh, some worms downstairs. Hit me again. Can I just ray of fire the bad boy? Healed back up. We didn't suffer an injury, which is great. Golden soul. Why not? Now that order is too tall. So. Maybe I left some statues over here that I could have looted. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah, this is footprints. Really? There. Is that it? That's not that big. <laughs> okay, let's check out this entire place before... We go inside anywhere? Whoever was in here left in the middle of the drinking their tree. Yeah, we're taking the money. Foreman's quarters. Barrel. Why do I need to destroy it? I think the game system they have right now for uh, Poet 2 is a better one. I think the one they had in Poet was great. It was very tactical, but I suppose... In a way it was like uh, you're trying to save up your resources for the tough fights. And that's not how it, how it works right now. I don't know. I like both. I think this gives you more freedom. Uh oh, young That's panther. Right. Yeah, let's go there. Let's do that. That's not what I want. Oh, okay, never mind that. X. Bewildering spectacle. Panthers are confused. They might just hit each other now. Okay. Leave it to me. Hey. Well, don't see why not. So, can I change in the formation who's the the quote-unquote leader? I don't think I can. Hey. That wasn't it. 
pile of gunpowder? Yeah. <clears throat> sure. What is that? Yeah, this is what? That's Eotas's footprint? Holy What? Okay. Uh screw this mission. The generator occasionally vibrates wildly and you can faintly hear the sound of metal grinding on metal from somewhere inside the machinery. Several men and women appear to be locked inside a cage of some kind. They're a little more than silhouettes behind the glass, pointing and gesturing excitedly. You out there? Are the beasts gone? One woman comes up uh, to the door, hands pressed against the glass. Yeah, I took care of the creatures. The woman turns away to have a muffled exchange with the others. Then she pulls at something by the door and you hear a rattling clank. I didn't hesitate to open the door. Perfecto. We are saved. A youngish man with bright eyes and a twitching smile claps his hands in joy as he steps out of the cage. The woman next to him, however, remains sober. Me and the watcher? We're always happy to help. <laughs> she beams at you, eyes filled with pride. Governor Claudio must have sent you to rescue us, no? Oh, come on. But you do not look like one of his guards. She rises onto the balls of her feet and peers behind you, as if searching for someone else. She looks to be only midway into her thirties, though the serious set of her mouth makes her seem older. Actually, Clarius sent me to find Oderisi or his notes. An older woman hawks an impre impressive gob of phlegm onto the ground and kicks a clump of dirt over it. I told you the governor does not care about us. This is all about profit for him and the rest of the Valian. That's not really surprising, is it? Caloste. She silences the others with a sharp look. She turns back to you with a resigned breath. You are here, and that is what matters. What are you... what are you guys doing? Hiding, of course. The, car the corners of his mouth spasm. The cranky old woman next to him sighs and lays a comforting hand on his arm. We were taking measurements of the luminous Adra when something strange began happening. Fascinating. The pillar started to dim, the ground shook, and our instruments showed unusual variations. That's when those of us with a grain of sense got into the cage. She glares at the excitable young man, but he doesn't seem to notice. What happened then? The Colossus. Some kind of construct made from luminous Adra. It passed through the arena toward the pillar. What? There was a pillar here? Vanessa closes her eyes. Moments later, the pillar went dark, and all of our colleagues outside the cage froze, like they turned to ash. She goes quiet, her hands uh, clasped in front of her. The young man leans forward, his eyes wide with a perverse kind of excitement. That is when the panthers and worms showed up, started going through the tents. It was awful, but Engfeth. Vanessa shoots him a furious look, and he falls silent again. The confused and slightly injured expression crinkles his face. Some of our people are still missing in the ruins, including Odorisi, our lead researcher. It is possible he managed to hide. Her furrowed brow, however, suggests otherwise. I should go look. Most of the ruins are that way, through the door next to the ramp. She points to a dark entrance to the eastern wall of the arena. If you are going below, you should take Engfert with you. She turns and motions someone to the front of the group. Hey, he looks just like... Edda cuts himself off for reasons not yet apparent. His jaw hangs, be hangs slack. A sharp-featured elf uh, comes to 
the four, uh, as he meets your eyes, he gives you a knowing nod. He's earned a few new scars, but you recognize a lot Corfacer all the same. He taps a finger to his lips, a sly smile working its way across them. Engfirth knows a great many spells. At first, he even cast fire to chase away the panthers. Right. Until the flames nearly caught one of the tents. You're making a really great case for Engfirth. Outside of this cage, his skills would be a boon. I do not expect the ruins will be any safer. Many of our people remained behind, which has surely attracted more wildlife. It would be prudent to take help. As long as Engfirth is willing to go. She looks quickly to a lot. He nods. I would be happy to assist. <clears throat> he holds your gaze with wide, expectant eyes. <laughs> your Engfirth isn't an animancer. He's a wizard named Elad. Diverus. Surely I would also change my name if... But Benessa rounds an ally, cutting the young Grandmaster off. Wait, you know him? <laughs> yep. She turns to Elat, her face a rigid mask of anger and hurt. You lied to us. <laughs> the words aren't a question, they are an accusation. It's true, I have other business. I'm afraid I can't explain. His hands are clasped in front of him. His knuckles are as pale and hard as pearls. He slowly meets Benessa's gaze. But please know that I meant no harm. I certainly didn't intend to hurt you, Benessa. Go, Engferth, Aloth, whoever you are. Do not let me keep you from your other business. She turns to you, closing her eyes. Ergon Planka, just take him with you. Let's go, lot. <sighs> the sooner the better. <laughs> Great! Spellblade! Wizard Rogue, or... Wizard Fighter? This can this choice cannot be changed later? I don't know, let's just multiclass a lot into a Wizard Rogue. I don't know if that that's sensible, but hey, let's do it. Let's make him a Spellblade. They already got a wizard. Oh. Rogue abilities can be used a couple times. <sighs> a lot needs to level up. We already got diplomacy. Sleight of hand? We don't have that. Also, I'm not good with stealth. Mechanics. Might want mechanics. Diplo is not too important right now. Inside, we have Streetwise. We have Bluff, we don't have. So let's go Bluff. I can spend points on on anything here. I can I can go for rogue or I can go for wizard. Backstab. I don't know. Actually, I might need to cancel leveling up Elot for the time being and see what the hell he has. Might, dexterity, intellect, okay. So we gotta go bluff and uh, maybe sleight of hand. The thing is, if he doesn't have stealth, then it's kind of pointless. So that's not great. Explosives.
Let's go for sleight of hand. Why not? Okay. Actually, I still don't know one thing. I don't know his uh, weapon proficiencies. I, I suppose it can be changed Fine. later. Nah, it, it can be changed. But... Rapier. Scepter. So, he has two one-armed weapons. It's probably not gonna be a tank though. So maybe we're gonna go with... Uh, like, dual wield. Hmm. I'm actually somewhat tempted to pick up engagement. Escape. Escape is a good way to actually escape from a fight. So. Sure. Spellblade. Sleight of hand. Bluff. What should I pick up? So, apparently his skills are never gonna be as powerful. Prone. He can knock people down with Slicken. That could be good. Additional weapon set is kinda pointless. Backstab, defensive roll. Okay, let's go with Slicken. More levely ups. I don't know if you're gonna need stealth. Okay, now we can pick up uh, the more, well, kind of the higher level skills. Two weapon style. What? I need to choose an ability for both classes. Great. So I can go with two weapon style. And also check out what options we have at the wizard. Uh, don't know what I want. Maybe. Well, blinding people is really good because then they will become flanked. But also the bewildering spectacle is really good. What does blinding do? Lowers their perception, therefore accuracy. It increases their recovery time so that slows down their attacks. Then Makes them even less accurate, and lowers their range. That's pretty good. It's confused. How long? It stays on for 20 seconds, which is insane. Maybe I'm just gonna pick that up. Looks good. Oh, I can pick up another... Uh, Weapon. Do I want to pick up wands? That could be a good option. Scepter, destructive channeling. Eight to fourteen. Yeah, wands look good. Maybe I'm gonna pick up wands. Actually, we don't have to go with something like that. I can just go for like pistols. Anything that I can do wield is pretty damn good. Can I do wield pistols? Can I just cancel this? Uh. 
Let's see what can we do with I can probably do with pistols. I can even do with the pistol and rapier. Uh, do we see the DPS we are doing here? Is that really a good idea to do with pistols? Well, it definitely affects the accuracy I have, right? Instead of 40, it's gonna be like 28, 28. So, not the best. A scepter. I can also go Scepter and the pistol. Pistol seems decent, actually. Okay, never mind that. Let's level him up. So much leveling up happening. Uh, bluff. Yeah, I need to choose one here. That's gonna be two weapon style. Let's go next. I'm gonna blind them. Let's go next. And I have to choose a weapon. So it's either gonna be... The wand. Wand is good. 8 to 14. 3 recovery time. Pistol is good too. Eye penetration. What is the skill we get with this? Unfit for melee. Focus one's attacks to interfere with the enemy's ability to attack effectively at the cost of damage. What is this? The character fires and reloads the pistol quickly at the cost of accuracy. I don't know if he can do that. <laughs> I don't think he has the... <sighs> Rapid shot. Pistol is good. It has average 17 damage. On attacks every 6.1 seconds. And this has average... Uh, 11 damage. And attacks every... 3.7 seconds. So the wand looks actually better, but I think the pistol... Oh, they both... Pistol has more penetration. I just do wands. That, that fits the uh, wizard anyway. Uh. Okay. Finally the leveling up is done. We have Crippling Strike. And I can also pick up Curse of Blackened Sight. I shall. How may I help? But I don't have wands right now. Actually, I do have one wand. Key Breaker Specter. I suppose that could work. Yeah, I don't want to enchant it. Seems fine. I need to also change the formation. No, that's fine. That's a fine formation. Yeah. Alright, Vanessa. I guess we're going. Elat is gonna be the tank. Oh? No, no. I mean, Adder is gonna be the tank. Actually, Elat has better defenses than me. Oh, 32 deflection, which is a lot better than 22. Not quite as good as 60. <laughs> so, I guess that's that. Destructive cha channeling. Great. What can I do you for? Yeah. Sure. Anyhow. Silver Luska. So we need to check out Foreman's quarters, training hall, Yalta's footprint, that's another one. Wow. So he stepped here and stepped here. Great. 
And that's another Eota's footprint. I failed to see. Maybe I thought... Hmm. I still don't see it. Anyway, uh, this is a good time to take a break. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.